prepared. <laughs> None of you are prepared. I don't even care that there's only four of you here. I'm still gonna do it. Um, <laughs> 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 Thank you. And you're gonna be on YouTube asking for chips. <laughs> No, this is the most riveting video I've ever made. <laughs> um, all I'm going to tell you about this story is that someone gave it to me in Cleveland on the second day of my last tour. Even though it is the number one rated worst fanfic of in the Harry Potter universe on godawfulfanfiction.net, I've never met anyone at any event who's ever read it, which is also beautiful because it, it sort of switches the dynamic because now I'm prepared and none of you are. Um, so... Uh, now, and this will set the rules for any of the other fic that I do tonight. Uh, I obey all grammar and punctuation. I read it as it is, which you are going to regret in about five minutes. And um, I will just I will tell you when something's my commentary and when something is in there, which you will also need to know because you will hear things and you're like, oh, clearly Mark's commenting, and then I'll be like, no, that's actually that's in the story. So this one's called Hermione and the Pizza Boy. <laughs> I'm going to read the author's summary. It's the summer after the trio's fifth year at Hogwarts School of Witchca Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hermione is at home with her sister, named Emma. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny to me. Their parents are out, and they aren't coming back until the end of summer. It would a thing that parents do. Because Par people do that <laughs> all the time. The two sisters order pizza, and the pizza boy is Harry. What will happen? <laughs> Spoiler alert. They never order pizza, and the pizza boy isn't Harry. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, so this is chapter one of Hermione and the Pizza Boy, which I just found out this, I've been saying this whole time, there's no other chapters, but someone this morning found the second chapter. But I'm gonna ignore that because it's much more beautiful if you think there's no other chapter. So, all right. Um, so this is chapter one of Her Hermione and the Pizza Boy. Uh, Emma, Hermione's sister, shook Hermione violently while sounding very exasperated at the exact same time. Yeah, it, that's okay, whatever. Emma then got an idea and smirked. Hermione, we're late for transfiguration. What? Hermione screamed, just says W A T, <laughs> as she bolted up from her blue and white queen sized bed. Those are all commas. Hermione quickly ran over to her walk in closet, slipped on her black wool robes, <laughs> and grabbed her bag. Emma just sat on Hermione's bed watching her sister run into the washroom while pulling a brush through her bushy hair. Actually, to be truthful, her hair wasn't bushy. <laughs> As it, okay, I'm just gonna read the sentence. As it was in her first to the beginning of fourth year at Hogwarts. Right. That's the whole sentence. As it was in her first <laughs> to the beginning of fourth year at Hogwarts. <laughs> Maybe? Her hair had become wavy and ended in nice locks of curls. Emma mumbled to herself while giggling <laughs> quietly at the exact same time. <laughs> uh, real, what am I going to realize, Hermione asked, after spitting up toothpaste into the sink at the exact same time. <laughs> Sorry. Emma shook her head and walked over to Hermione's stair and turned it on. And Harry and Ron call you smart. You can be really slow sometimes, Miney. Spelled M-I-O-N-E. And so for the rest of the fic, the author just decides to call her Miney instead of Hermione. I don't understand it, it's awful. What are you talking about, Emma? Just then a look of realization spread across Hermione's pretty, pretty features. More than one pretty. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> you are so dead, Emma Lynn Granger, Hermione yelled at the top of her lungs. Wait, Emma just laughed Emma and Lynn? jumped onto um, Emma, Lynn. Emma Lynn. Like, Emma is one name, L-Y-N-N, which is... My middle name, Britney actually. Spears middle name? <laughs> My middle name. Why did I know that? You can't put that on Why? <laughs> Emma just laughed and jumped onto Hermione's unmade bed, bolted into the washroom, and threw another door at the end of the washroom, which is the door that's connected to the room. She that's threw the door? <laughs> the, the author is really concerned you understand how doors work, so she over explains where the doors are located. And it's very simple. There's one door, it goes into the bathroom, and exits in the other room. It's like a connected bathroom. But Jack for some reason, Joe. the author thinks it's the most complicated thing of an all of all time. As Emma ran into her room, she locked the door leading into the washroom, which she just ran through, if you remember, <laughs> and jumped onto her nicely made bed. Well, not so nice anymore, but that's not the point. <laughs> Emmeline Granger was Hermione's twin sister, and Hermione was 10 minutes older than her. 
Emma and Hermione looked alike. Well, duh, but once again, that's not the point. <laughs> Would you like to show everyone that it actually says, well, duh, but once again, that's not the point? <laughs> I like because the author is giving us these details and saying they don't matter immediately after giving them. Emma has wavy, dirty, blonde hair and hazel eyes, which had a light tint of green. She had a nice figure thanks to basketball and Quidditch. Yes, Emma plays Quidditch. So there's 40 commas in the first sentence and none in the second one. <laughs> Hermione had light brown, wavy slash curly hair. Her eyes were a nice shade of chocolate brown, which sounds delicious. And she also had a nice figure, probably because of lifting all those books she reads. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's most likely to be because of Jim that they had in their house not to mind you the pool. <laughs> That's I, just, I don't know. No <laughs> questions. Let's just put it this way. Both sisters had about shoulder-length hair, eyes you could probably drown yourself in, I hope literally, and a wonderful figure that had curves in all the right places. So the author just spent like 20 sentences saying how they're exactly the same. And then describes how they're really right? different. Yeah. So then the next sentence is, Emma, to be truthful, is absolutely nothing like her sister. <laughs> Except they always get good grades. But Emma usually leaves her homework until the third to last day until it's due to will do it. <laughs> I've never been able to decipher that. Exactly. That's very specific. Hermione, on the other hand, we usually do it a week or something before it's due. So you have a very specific amount of time, seven days, and then just something. Because, <laughs> okay. Emma loves to fly. That's it. That's the whole, That's it. It's just there. Emma loves to fly. Hermione does it because she's afraid of heights. Go figure. Why is that go figure? I don't know. I don't understand. The two of them love to go shopping and pretty much do everything together. Ever since they were little, they have always been close to each other. They would take care of each other and comfort each other. Each other, each other, each other. Just gonna drift. Okay. When they were little, their parents always fought until they had enough and got divorced. Their dad always left in the middle of the night, but usually came back until that one night. And then in italics and underlining that one night. Uh, and then she puts in parentheses some rainy, rainy season at midnight, which is very confusing because there's only four seasons. Just pick a season. Like <laughs> I don't know what that means. When Emma, when little Emma had heard the door slam, she looked out her window to see her father leaving with his suitcase. She let a tear roll down her cheek. She allowed it to fall down <laughs> her cheek and walked through the washroom door that connected to her sister's room. If you remember that door. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Hermione entered the door, slammed to, so she walked out onto her balcony to see her father getting into his car and driving away. When she heard the bathroom door creak open, she turned around to see her little sister in her little nightdress, little crying. I don't know what that is. It literally says little crying? It's awful. I don't think he's coming back this time, Emma whispered to her sister as she was uh, enveloped into a hug. But that's the first time I actually said that correct. Correct. Every night I've said enveloped into a hug. <laughs> I'm like, that's the wrong word. Uh, it's going to be okay. But inside, little Hermione knew that that wasn't true and let a tear fall on her face. Yes. They don't know how long. <laughs> they just sat on Hermione's bed crying. But eventually they fell asleep in each other's arms, protecting each other from many other surprises from each other. Okay, this sounds like her comfort fic. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. yeah, I don't, I think the author's supposed to be Emma, but I'm not sure. Twincest, her comfort fic. <laughs> Back to normal. Okay, before we get too far, just to tell you guys, Emma had transferred over to Hogwarts in the trio's fourth year. Let's rewind back to that part. Beginning of fourth year. Happily, Hermione walked into the barrier that would bring her into the wizarding world. Why on earth do we call it the wizarding world and not the magical world, Hermione asked herself. Because we already call it that. We either call it the wizarding world and magical world, another part of her brain argued. <sighs> Whatever, Hermione accidentally said out loud. Can't wait until they find out about Emma, which is nine words Hermione said accidentally, so that's impossible. Awful. What are you talking about, asked Ginny, who just happened to walk up to her. Oh, hey, Ginny, I didn't see you there. Oh, thanks, Ginny, said sarcastically in a joking way. Gosh, guys, it's just a joke. That's what the author writes. She wants you to know it's a joke. Because it's sarcasm. <laughs> That's how sarcasm works, in case you didn't know. I feel so loved, she said. Oh, but you are, Draco said as he walked up to Ginny and wrapped his giant arms around her. What? Funny enough, the next line of dialogue is, what, Hermione said. <laughs> she didn't know that Ginny and Draco were going out. Right, so about that. Um, do you want to explain it to Hermione, Drake? Ginny asked Draco, or Drake, it's just a nickname. 
Um, and then she calls him Drake for the rest of the fic, which is distracting because I think of Wheelchair Jimmy on Degrassi.